everyone, welcome back to Arcane Summers. <laughs> Today we're back at Yellowstone, Yellowstone day two, and it is really, really cold. Yep, and we're really here cold. at Gibbons Falls. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Look like a good And I want Like a water seeking missile. Hey everyone, we are still in day two and we are at the paint pots bubbling mud area. Excited to see what it looks like. Artist Paint Pots. And it's awesome and bubbly and muddy. Yes, so what is Artist Paint Pot? The way the paint pots were huh. formed was the water was so acidic that it melted the rock and... Turned it into clay. Turned it into this soupy form and it was formed... Well, the bubbles are formed by carbon dioxide and steam. Carter, what did you think about the mud? I huh? loved it. You loved it? Carter said it smells good and he likes the bubbling. And it's very mesmerizing. So I think out of everyone, this is our favorite spot so far. Even more than Old Faithful. Yeah. Would you come back? Yeah. Somebody said they would sit here for eight hours. I said I'd sit here for ten hours, videotape it, and then play it back when I need to go to sleep. Well, there you go. It's very relaxing and mesmerizing. Hey everybody, we're up at Norris Geyser area. There's a museum and info center, supposedly. Yep, so far there's bathrooms, so that's what we needed. Pits. Uh, so anyways, um, it's uh, about 105. We're just settling down for some lunch. It's 50 degrees now. When we started today, it was about 38 degrees. You could see your breath. It's 50 degrees now. So in the sun, it's probably can go without a jacket, but man, oh man, if that sun goes away or the wind changes, uh, you definitely need a coat. Um, one of the things that we got in the habit of doing is packing our lunches. Um, typically, um, we'll have one snack bag and one cooler bag. Um, that's something that we've been doing for a long time and it seems to help. Uh, pro tip, don't leave a cooler in the back of your truck because the rangers will have a nice little conversation with you about not doing that. Yesterday, um, we parked at the Old Faithful Visitor Center. We had our cooler in our back of our truck all day. I didn't think about it at all 
Um, we thought we were being really extra cautious in the area. We got the bear spray. We we're trying to keep our junk picked up more than normal. <laughs> Um, and didn't even think about the cooler. Thankfully, all we had was some water and like one tiny pack of lunch meat, and it wasn't an issue. Um, when we got out of the visitor center, we had a, I thought, I was hoping it wasn't a ticket, and thankfully it wasn't. It was just a, a pink slip warning to not put your cooler in your trunk. So today we have it in here, and we have all our snacks in here. Um, so we certainly don't want to cause any issues for animals or humans right and let's face it after a day of travel our truck is essentially one big bear attractant anyways with the amount of craziness that the kids have in the back of the truck yeah you could probably feed a small country out of the crumbs in the truck on the travel day especially yeah. things that i find the easiest to pack are wraps so i like take getting just a small container of lunch meat and putting it in the cooler also cheese we normally bring and um, the, then the tortillas you can just put in your dry snack bag um, so that it's really easy to stop somewhere. It takes less than five minutes to make a wrap for everybody. Um, we also carry around peanut butter a lot because that's easy to turn into wraps or sometimes the kids will just eat a spoonful of it. Um, and then just the cooler full of water always saves you a ton of money. I know we've said that again and again. Um, and yesterday we didn't pack enough snacks. Everyone was starving. So I popped a couple bags of popcorn, grabbed a bunch of apples, raisins, anything. So we'll see at the end of the day how we do. Beware of animals. Yellowstone yeah. is dangerous. Yeah. And remember, safety is your responsibility. No one else out here is going to take care of you, is not going to take care of your car. Um, no one else is going to be chasing bears away for you. So keep that in mind. Uh, you need to carry bear spray. You need to be mindful of your surroundings. Uh, that's something that we're being super vigilant about uh, too. But the Yellowstone National Park will call that out too. It's your yeah. responsibility to keep yourself safe. And yesterday we were on a trail hoping to see a geyser. And it got a little too woodsy. And there was big scratch marks and piles of dung next to the trail. So we aborted and went back to the car singing the ABCs really loudly. <laughs> all the yeah. Way. yeah, so you might feel foolish talking in the middle of the woods. Um, you know, if you, if you have kids like ours, they fight essentially all the time, so that's good too. Um, but it'll keep the bears away and it, um, it'll it keep the chance of a surprise encounter uh, way, way, way down. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, you know, turn a corner and surprise a bear. Um, so that's why we normally will say things like, hey bear, or we'll say the ABCs, or things like that and hey it's teaching Carter the ABCs at the same time uh, it's keeping the bears away too so yeah and certainly we're not well experienced um, but we definitely read about how to be safe um, will that be fault proof probably not um, but definitely level of stress is up here so our level of awareness we're trying to keep it really high um, and I guess there's risk involved with anything, so we're just doing the best we can to keep everybody safe. So We're getting ready to do a 1 8 mile Upper Falls foot trail. All right, here we go. What was that? Ah. We are on the Lower Falls Trail. You guys like it? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Is it a cool hike? Yeah. All right.
What did we see? Uh, two waterfalls. Yeah? What did you think about them? Did you like them? Yeah, they were really cool. Yeah, did we get some really cool pictures? Yeah. Nice. Were you excited to see such a cool waterfall? Yeah. What did you think about the hike? It was really long. Yeah, was it hilly? Yes. Alex, what do you think? Um, so right now we are at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone River and we just went on a hike and we went down 600 feet, then back up 600 feet. So what did you think about the falls? I looked through them through the binoculars and it looks like you could literally just reach your hand out and touch it. So I thought it was a great hike down. It was a beautiful hike. Yep, Carter slept most of the way. Yeah, unfortunately woke up and cried a lot of the way up. Um, Mainly because we were both overheating. Probably was too hot and the sun was in his face that time. Um, but the hike up was a little difficult. I have to say. So I don't, maybe without the kids it would have been less stressful. So it was definitely difficult up. Uh, highly recommend it. Someone took a stroller down there. I do not recommend that. That was kind of scary and crazy. Yeah, but they were, I mean worth calling out. There was tons of kids on there running, yeah. um, doing the hike themselves. There was tons of baby backpacks. I carried Carter down and back up and our baby backpack um, absolutely no issue doing that. It's not, it's not scary in terms of difficult. It's that you're doing 600 feet and half a mile. Um, so, I mean, regardless, take some water, be prepared to breathe, and take your time. There's, there's benches. Uh, you know, every other switchback, there's benches to sit down. There's plenty of shade most of the time. Um, we could have stopped more, but since Carter was fussy, we kind of pushed ahead. Yeah, um, yeah, totally yeah. could have taken a slower pace if we wanted to. No. Uh, but yeah, the stroller thing, people were having to drag it, someone push it, someone pull. And um, with the kids, I would just say, you know, we tried to make them walk on the inside of the trail whenever possible, um, or when people were passing. Um, you know, the kids have to kind of pay attention a bit because it right. is kind of the side of a cliff maybe they'd fall down just to the next one maybe yeah i don't know yeah and that's worth calling out too this is a great trail for teaching some etiquette on um you know letting people who are climbing um have the right of way um we tend to let people who are faster than us which are where a lot of people um, we would tend to get over to the side and let them pass us um, just so that we don't have, you know, them behind us the whole time. Um, same with the kids. If, uh, you know, making sure that they walk right behind us instead of uh, two by two um, and taking up essentially the whole path. Um, it just creates a little bit more uh, confusion and uh, increases, you know, our stress level. And we don't want, you know, someone who just doesn't know how to, you know, doesn't know the etiquette to, you know, edge our kid off the path or, so, or something like that. So we were a little bit more stressed about that, I guess, too. Yeah, I didn't feel like overly stressed. It's just, um, you know, our girls are old enough to pay attention and we knew we were, by the nature of the trail, we were gonna put Carter in the backpack. Um, but we definitely saw some, you know, maybe three to six-ish kids that were having a bit of a rough time or you know getting drug around and not happy <laughs> right so, just kind of be cautious of what kind of trail we are walking towards the mud volcano and over there is dragon's breath Carter, what is that it, 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 it mud. it's mud what is it doing Is it bubbling? Yes. That is crazy. This is like super, the super acidic one. Yeah. It almost looks like mercury. Like boiling like mercury. Oh my god. Look out there. Missing out.
Carter, what do you want to go see? Dragon's mouth. Dragon's mouth? Oh my gosh, there's a whole family of buffalo on the road. Oh, oh my gosh! Ah, yeah. there's a whole group of buffalo. Detour ahead. Yeah. Detour ahead would be this whole herd. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Look at the babies. Oh my gosh. People are out of their cars. They're nuts. You guys are insane. Oh, that's a motorcycle person. I would like, oh, consider getting in your car, people. Uh -oh. oh my god. Jeez. What are they doing? Are they just going across the road or are they? Right behind the motorcycle. Okay, are... people, you're getting. You're oh getting, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, get in the car! Yeah, that girl's oh. like, I'm out, I'm getting in. He has no idea where to go. Oh, no, they oh, were oh, thinking oh, about coming oh, up this oh, way, weren't oh, they? Oh, oh. Uh -oh. oh my god, this is crazy. They're oh, going oh. up the hill! No, uh -oh. some are gonna go that way. Oh, 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 five, oh, 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 six split oh, 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 off. What's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know what to do. They're what confused. The babies, the babies are up there. The motorcycles are like, get out of here. The baby's in the lead. <laughs> Baby ruler. That's always a good idea. Dude, this guy's gonna go right next to us. He's <laughs> trying to get over there. Oh my gosh, did you hear him? Did you hear him? Oh my god. Please not go over the pole. Please not go over the pole. Please not go over the pole. Yeah, listen, Kate. Kate, listen. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there's a baby. Here, oh my gosh! Take my phone. Oh window. my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please don't hurt the car. <laughs> you should have handed it to me. Why? Because this one went right past the window. Here, hand me it back. What is it doing? Oh, thinking is it going to go past you or past me? Just standing there scratching itself here. Oh, look at our painter. Look at this buffalo. Okay. Shh. Probably go now. <laughs> what did you guys just see? There was a whole herd of buffalo that just ran across the street. Oh my god. And I'm one old. literally was just like. Oh my god. Uh, right next to our car. Yes! Here. Did they go really close to okay. our car? Yes, they did. Can I get you to raise your right hand and repeat after me? Can you say S A G Ranger? S A G Ranger. I promise. I promise. To protect Yellowstone. To protect Yellowstone. And its animals. And its animals. Culture. Culture. And thermal features. And thermal features. When I return home. When I return home. I will tell all my friends. I will tell all my friends about Yellowstone. About Yellowstone. Congratulations. Thank you. Excellent.